with uh, 46 views and yeah thank you so much so one of these guys I well I got reached out to was we booty Tamaguchi yeah yep that guy huge shout out he gave me idea of what I want to know is how to well how do I create my own of like your homebrew theme which I uploaded this tutorial to you guys you guys said it was pretty helpful and I just want to give you your what you asked for right here yep thank you for the your reply so what I'm gonna be doing today is showing you guys how to do this it's very simple I would put the links in the description you don't have to search the web for sketchy sites this is all safe you won't get viruses right here this is one of the links this is for Java you will need this to run the software you will need to get the Windows offline 64-bit and the file size is roughly 80 megabytes if you want you can also get it on Mac OS X but I don't think the software will run. I haven't tried it yet, so give me some feedback on that if you are using Mac OS. But yeah, just there it is. There's a link. Click that one. Don't do these ones. Just do this one. I mean, if you have 32 bit, obviously click this one. But only go with the offline options. Anyways, also, there's a second link that leads up to a drive file that I put in one of my files. It's called USB Loader GX Theme Creator. You want to right click it. Well, yeah, right click it. And hit download down here. And then it'll be skinned for viruses. It's not a huge download, I believe. So it'll try and download it. I already have it downloaded, so I don't have to download that. When you're on here, all you have to do is this and it want it'll download it okay so next what you want to do in here is when it downloads it'll be a zip file so when you're in your downloads you will see this file right here you unzip it so it'll come out like this but before you load and in, go into this folder install windows well not windows install java this is very necessary to get this going. You install Java, download it, install it, do all this stuff. It will give you a, you have it successfully installed Java screen at the end of it when you install it. I already have it installed right now. I'm just telling you what to expect. And yeah. So and then you're good. Now what you want to do is go into your file folder, this one, that says USB Loader GX Theme Creator. Double left click that, you double click that, then right here there will be Theme Creator USB Loader GX. And now, if it doesn't have this, and it, you're using like 7-zip or some other software like that, you want to right click it. And then you hit open with, and then usually gives you the option. The only software oh I have God. is Java right now at this point, so you don't. I don't. I don't need to do that, but it should give you the option. If it doesn't, just wait a little bit. It should pop up soon. It should. The software should. Well, your computer should know that that software can also run jar files. So, after that, and then it's ready to go, you open with, or for me, all I have to do is double click it. Now when you double click it, it should load up like this, but it'll give you like an option for like English and stuff like that. Hit the British, the British flag whatever it is that's also English because they speak English so and then in here 
to make your own file, you just go up here, click this file, and then you have to put in all your stuff if you want to. It doesn't really matter. You hit validate, and then you hit create. I already created one called Dark Theme. I'm in the middle of working on it. So right down here, it'll give you everything you need. Like it will you can go in here, you can customize all the colors for text. Obviously this isn't the color that I'm using right now, but if you're going game count, which is right here, you wanna pick a different color, you can go like, oh yeah, I want red. You double click it, turns it to red. It's pretty simple for that sense. And what you can wait, also you can enter in your own little numbers in here to get the exact color you want. And here this is your X and Y's X, Y, Y is up and down, X is left and right. Like a graph. If you haven't got if you haven't taught this, this program is probably not for you, but it is the only program I have seen so far that works. But in here you can do all your things right in here. Like you can adjust all the different places. In here, this is interactable. You can click in here. You have your different sp slots. So yeah. Also you can go into menus. Pretty simple, and all you do to like turn this button different colors, something like that. You just you scroll over. Just watch in here when I right click it. There you go, pops up. Then here you can press this to edit the picture, and this is to open up the image folder. And this is for when you have your cursor over on Wii it will you can change what it looks like like you can that's over that's off over off that just adds that shadow that's really all that's to it you can do whatever you want you can go crazy in here and put in your own background and there's just a ton of options and you can switch between 16, 16 and 6 Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Now when you're done with that, you can save your file. Or you can go to export theme. And then, what does, when you have your name in there, you just hit archive location. Well, and then you can, it just goes to your export folder. You just hit OK. And then, They'll bring it up in dark. And what you can do with this folder is just do what I did in the previous video I've done and install it into the Humber channel. And there you go. You got your own theme. So I hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below on your feedback and how well this worked for you because I'm curious on it. This is the only video so far I've seen on the internet for custom themes for Wii. And I'm not sure if you can do this on Wii U. So, don't ask me that. I don't know. But try it, I guess. So far it just looks like it's for Wii. Yep. Hope you guys have a good day and talk to you guys later.